Hey everyone, Lyo Convoy here. Today I'm building the Sosai Shoujo Tien Koyomi Takanashi kit, because the Gundam I originally built, the uh, video file got completely corrupted, so I wasn't able to use it. Two hours down the drain, but hey, at least it's a cute visual this time around. If you're interested in this kit and you like the final details, you can go ahead and look in the comment section and find a link to it on Amazon. I know I'm uploading again pretty early. I'm sure the artists don't mind. Anyways, one of the unfortunate side effects of having a server that deals with freaks, creeps, and weirdos is that some of these people will sit there and attempt to hide in plain sight. This is a form of troll shielding, such is the case with content creator Hey It's Cosmic. The exact things they've done have been covered by Lin Lin, so a link to those videos are in the description. What I didn't know is that this person was in Senate. It's a fairly large server, after all, so when I was informed of this, I decided that, of course, a call would be needed. Time to feed the artists. Enjoy. A script around 2021, if I can recall. Um, sorry if my memory's a little hazy. It has been a little bit. Um, but... Uh, there was a little bit of a spat uh, back and forth between um, Umbris and a few of uh, few a few of people um, around that time uh, over a script and on a on a tryout commentary that has now been canceled uh, way back when. One um, moment. One moment. <laughs> okay. I want to be very clear here. I don't care about scripts. I don't care about commentaries. You know why I'm asking you about Umbris. So why don't we skip to that part? Okay. Why did you feel the need to keep track about what a child was saying about you? It was um, primarily done out of paranoia. Paranoia. Okay. Out of par yes, paranoia and fear around that time. And looking back at it, it was very stupid, very unnecessary, and Paranoia. I Paranoia. really regret to do it. Paranoia and yes. fear about a child? Yes, sir. What did you what were you afraid of them for? I I'm primarily have an issue with in terms of trust and it just heightened that sort of paranoia a, in relation to trust a and a child made you made your paranoia flare up yes sir a child yes sir when you were able to get this person's chats did you have a mole in there or did you use an alt account i did not use an alt account i did have someone who was in the in the server um because i do i i did have someone um it was mostly done for the uh just just to see like if there was anything uh like in case like anyone was lying and it, it was mostly just trust paranoia and who in was, case anything who was, was being lied about about me who was the person uh it was uh they used to go by the name kurome i see i keep hearing mm -hmm. that name pop up and it's never good when i do mm-hmm how long did you keep tabs on this literal child? Um, I don't remember the exact timeline. I know it was for more than a month, I do remember. And I know it sounds really bad. Uh, yeah. It does. Did you ever give Umbris a proper apology? Um... I don't believe I did. Yeah, you didn't. Instead, you resorted to a 41-page Google Doc. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you a question, and I'm not asking this to be derogatory. Mm-hmm. Are you on the spectrum? No, sir. Were both your parents at home? My parents are currently away at the moment, and no, but I'm not at asking, the time, I'm not asking yeah, if they're home. I'm asking if they actually raised you. Yes. Can you tell me at what point in your life your parents taught you that the best way to respond to a literal child is to do a 41-page Google Doc? Never. That was by my own decision. Then why? I wanted to clear a few things up. I that was. Mostly why I did the doc in the first place. 
clear things up. What's to clear yes. up? Exactly. Um, just in case there was any sort of misinformation on my end or throughout that whole entire situation, um, nothing really else in particular that can that can comes to mind right now. Cleared up with what? The five people that might have cared at the time? Yes. I want you to tell me about Joko Musical. What happened with that person? Joko Musical. Um, we met around that server. We met around a long time beforehand, but that's not what's necessary right now. Um, I, I do, do remember that um, he kind of just left off the internet after like the whole whatever came out on him. Um, a little after the whole situation, if I recall correctly. You're in a room full of adults. Not entirely You're sure. You're in a room full of adults. Say the reason. Joko Musical um, what, decided to rebrand and stray away from the name and wanted to stray away from commentary in total. Um, we are in contact with each other under his new username. Hold on. And he has strayed away from that. Hold on. Did you mm -hmm. not understand what I said? I said, you're in a room full of adults. Say the reason. I don't recall asking for new usernames. I was going to, but that's not what I asked you. So I'm going to ask you again. What was the reason? The reason for why he was involved. The reason for why he left and then rebranded. Um... For the reason why he left under that username um, was mostly due to a separate situation uh, that someone came out about something in relation to, like, uh, grooming or anything around those sorts, but it was never proven to be true. Um, it was all, I don't, ugh, I don't really know, sir. Did you actually look into it? No, sir. Not, not fully. So let me get this straight. You stopped a kid for months. You hung out with somebody who had grooming accusations mm -hmm. come out about him. You didn't even look into it. And here you are a couple years later and they're still around under a new name and you still to this day haven't had the decision to look into it. Why? It was never it was never proven to be true. How would you know um, if you never looked into and it? And I did have a... Uh, oh, I did. I said I'd never looked into it fully. Um, we've had our discussion in regards to whatever came out on Twitter in regards to Joko. Um, but it was of a screenshot that was provided uh, in, that, in the context. And I read through the context from that. And it didn't show anything in regards to that. Yes. I heard somebody else peep up, but I don't know who it was. Okay, so moving on. You are not on the spectrum. You allegedly have adults that taught you better. You uh, liar. Yes. You, uh, Aaron was in the middle of asking a question. You just spoke up over them. I did not. I can't hear them. Yeah, but I'm, I'm telling you, honestly, Aaron was in the middle of speaking and you spoke over them. No, I'm sorry. I literally can't hear them. Let me hop out and back in. Okay, we did this entire time. But, um, okay, so... Hold on. I wanted to Be ask. Before you ask your question, Lyo, can you hear them now? Yeah, I can. I could not hear them at all. I am so sorry. All right. Now that's sorted, so now we can continue, okay? I usually don't pip up during these things, but, like, call it a kit, man. 
can't right. can call etiquette okay. if I don't hear the person. What the fuck up? I'm asking a question. But, um, okay. Let's pick. Um, you were asked about uh, why you didn't look into it. What was the answer again that you gave? Just because that whole kerfuffle just puzzled my brain a bit. Um, I didn't really fully look into it. Mostly just read the what was given in context to the tweet. But I was also in a relationship mm-hmm. with Joko at that very time as well. Because I do remember you were trying to ask that. Yeah, that's why I was gonna ask because it showed in the screenshots. So right. Okay, that's what I that's what I wanted to. That means he can continue laying. Okay. Oh God, I think I killed it. No, I'm right here. Although, if I had to keep walking literal adults through proper logic, I might wind up just dying of sheer rage. And you said that to this day you have not done a proper apology to Umbris, right? Hello. They're still in the call. Cosmic, can you hear us? I was about to ask if like my thing had died again. No, no, no. You're you're still here. Uh, Cosmic. Their shit seems to have died. I'm just looking through that Google Doc. Because <coughs> I have another question. Okay. You have time then. <clears throat> okay. A- am I audible? Yes. Yes. Okay. I apologize for that. Did you not hear us or were you just not able to talk? No. Um I I could hear y'all, but I didn't know if I w- y'all could hear me at the time. My not. internet is very bad with Discord. We could not. So um go ahead and repeat yourself. Um I, I I didn't really say anything. I was just trying to see if y'all were able to hear me around that time. I do apologize. Good, then you can answer now. Yes, sir. Then, then answer. May want to repeat the question. Why is it you have not given Umbris a proper apology? Um, I didn't give Umbris a proper apology mostly just to block her out of the way and kind of cut contact with her um because around that time it was not good whatsoever and looking back i really should have and should give her an apology if possible if that's really possible because i know my actions are very bad and Hmm. really shouldn't have done that it's amazing how many people finally realize they've done something wrong when i decided to Grab them by the nap of their neck. Very fascinating pattern I've noticed. Wait, I have, I do have another question though. Yes. Uh, were you dating Jolko before or after the allegations came out? I was dating before the allegations came out. The allegations didn't show up until a little later. Um, I it, we almost had a year into the relationship, but we were dating beforehand. Okay, so the statuses that you kept changing, was that to freak uh, this kid out to show that you knew what they were talking about? Or... Admittedly... Oh, sorry. I was saying all that. Um, admittedly, yes. It was to freak and strike fear. Um... And 
whatever just to be like i know what you're doing and that sort of ordeal behind closed doors because of the mole giving me the, this information and screenshots in case anything further came from this why did you want to strike fair to a child how how old were they um when i from what i recall they were around 16 17 and i think you were at the time uh this was happening before I was like around up to 20 to 20 to 20, 19 or 20 around there. Oh, okay. But okay. Then I'm going to stop calling them child then because like you're very similar in age and I don't mm -hmm. care about two to three year age gap personally. So like, so you were just kind of straight fair. Wait, hold on. Okay, another question then. Mm -hmm. So I can understand things. How old's Jolko? Jolko, he is. Um, are we referring to what, how old he was then or right now? Uh, um, so. Um, he is roughly around two years older than I am. Um, I think he was around 22 or so 21 around that time how old was the okay. person accusing him of grooming i do not remember i did not look look or know the age of the person that was accusing him of course and how would you know if the accusation is accurate or not i only read the context that was given in the screenshot there was not much else that i had from that um aside from what joko did tell me uh about how um words were exchanged and there was some stuff that was really dumb but nothing in regards to grooming Is it is it okay if I say something for a second? It's um a little side bit, but um in case um my internet uh, and all that, if I'm quiet for a little while, my internet is very bad. Um and it's a little delayed and I'm trying to work with that with discord so i do apologize i found the ages couldn't get in gallery context ah. joko was 19 at the oldest the other person was 16 at the oldest or youngest i think mm -hmm. ERP session. I have Joko's. Yes. I have Joko's Google Drive response because, of course, it's a Google Drive. Because why wouldn't it be a Google Drive? Truth is, you didn't actually look into this. Not completely, no. Yeah, that would mean no. Like, if mm -hmm. your mom asks you to take out the trash, you just open the trash can lid, but you don't take the bag out. Was that you taking the trash out? No, sir. All right, so if she said, did you take the trash out, and you say partially, would that be correct? No. No. That also wouldn't be correct if, she, if you said not fully. Because mm -hmm. you didn't do it at all. <sighs> You've spent most of your formative years online, haven't you? Since 2016, yes. 
So you've been running around online for seven years. And you're 21 now. That means you were 14. Yes, sir. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous that this started. It's ridiculous that it happened. It's ridiculous that you did a Google Doc response. It's ridiculous that you never offered an actual apology. And you know what? Let me see if I can do something. Give me one moment. Yes, sir. We'll be right back. Hi. Hey, it's my cousin. Hi, Lyle. Hey, Lyle. Hey, Lyle. Hello. Hello. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Or whatever. Educating Lynn about the Simpsons. Uh huh. Thank you. Very cool. Anyway, sorry to interrupt what's going on here, but Umbris, your presence is requested. Aww. Oh. Uh. All right. So. Fully her though. Let me go ahead and get that sent to you because I am tired of this person waffling on me. Oh. Uh, yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. That um, sounds about yeah, right. Oh, I, so you're trying to get a call with Cosmic? Is that what you're trying to do? Good luck. Trying? No, I've succeeded. Oh. <laughs> no. no, no wait, now you say it right no. now. Yes. Apparently. Okay. Oh, All right. So, so they aren't making. So they aren't pushing it back like oh two my, hours. No. Oh, they, nope. Yeah, they are in Santa. A lot of hang on, hang on. Let, let me speak. Holy crap, you people need to learn call etiquette. Yes, a call's going on in Senate. It's live right now. I just wanted to come in and let Umbris know that they're needed. I'm going back there now. All right. Ah, uh, there's Lyle. I am back, and we're about to have a guest here. Just Should I make... keep an eye on Spawn, or? Yeah, just to make sure. Uh, Aaron, can you go ahead and talk so I can make sure I can hear you now? Hello. There you are. Okay. Also, I heard you trolled more people earlier. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and then people ruined it because then they told people it was me. That was a whole thing. But I also don't care because I wasn't putting on the voice properly and I was going around. I didn't have my makeup on. It wasn't a real performance. I didn't get the chance to... Yeah, I get you. Uh, hello. <laughs> I uh, am I hearable? You are hearable. So let's go ahead and get down to brass tacks since we've had a little bit of fun. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> Do we have Cosmic in here, who apparently has yes, a, a massive case of amnesia about literally everything. <laughs> they did inform me that yes. the person who was passing all the information from your chats was, in fact, uh, Hit Hiromi, or whatever their goofy weeaboo name is. And she did not actually look into the accusations about Joel Co. in any way, shape, or form that actually matters. And she just never even thought to give you a proper apology. Isn't that fascinating? Umbris, you have the floor. If you want to confront this person about any other nonsense or call them on it, you can. Right. So, where do I begin? Because it's been a long time since I last spoken to you. Do you just not know what accountability is? Because ever since the very beginning, you've just dodged everything. You were not even like like you you had a lot of trouble like even just confessing who was like giving you this inf information. Because here here's the funny thing, uh, I'm not the only one in that vent chat. At the time, there were about I believe sixty people in that server, and I care about each and every one of those people. And you knew what the rules were in that server. I've posted the rules publicly several times. I've never once edited them, only to fix a typo. Uh, you know that I did not tolerate leaking the drama or vent chats. Or did you never read them? Give me an honest answer. I did read them. And I do apologize. Okay. What rule number? What was the, what was the number attached to the no leaking rule? The number attached to the no leaking rule was either number one or number two, if I co recall correctly. No, it was number three. What I'm getting at here is... What made you think it was a good idea to have someone give you information 
when you knew I had no tolerance for that? In my mind and in my head, um, it was, like I've said, trust, paranoia, and whatever irrelevant thing can come out of that. Okay. L l let me let me backtrack a little bit to the night this happened. August 4th, 2021. That was... Oh my god, that was two years ago now. <laughs> uh, do you recall what happened on that night? We were pulled into a call on a separate server, having a conversation <coughs> with June, and I believe we had someone else sit in the, sit in as well. It was originally going to be Aaron Tempest, but it was someone else, if I can recall. No, that did not happen on that day. That happened like a month or two later. What happened on that day is that Stardust Zombie commented on an intro for the try-up you're going to do on Nintendo Switch Gamer Dude that was between you, Lin Lin, and Fractured Light. Stardust's question was, hey, I thought Lin stopped doing commentaries. And you and Jelko just started dogging on him because he was just confused. Because naturally, when someone stops doing commentaries and leaves the community, they stop doing commentaries. Though, all you needed to clarify was, this will be her last one. You want to know how much that could have solved? Everything. We wouldn't be here if you just weren't being a bitch to someone for more than two seconds. Because I'll tell you this, Cosmic. If there's one thing I've learned about being in this community for the past six years, it's this. You can solve something by just talking. And you were talking in that comment section. However, it wasn't talking the way people want you to talk. You were just being super, super unreasonable and vindictive. All because someone asked a question. And I had to pull you and Jolko aside in Pog and have you guys talk it out. Because... This was a group issue. I've had to tell you this so many times. You kept saying, oh, just pull us into a group DM. You want to know why I didn't pull you guys into a group DM? Because it was becoming a pug issue of you constantly dogging on me, Hypo, uh, Hypochromia, and Stardust. I just could not tolerate it anymore. And you and Jelko were not helping matters by constantly backpedaling and damage controlling the situation and just trying to justify your actions. Also, and, I want hmm? you to tell Umbris the reason why you kept changing your status using the exact words you told us. I was doing it to strengthen. The reason why I changed the statuses was to strike fear and to essentially cause stress at that very point. And like I said, looking back at it, it was dumb. It was stupid and should never have been done. Let me tell you this. Remind yourself. So, I, so as of June fifth, twenty twenty three, I am now eighteen. Uh, th th this will make sense in just a second. Cosmic. If my birthday is on June fifth, how old was I on August fourth, twenty twenty one? Fifteen, sixteen. Around that. I actually don't remember the math myself. I'm very bad at that stuff. The point is, I was... Uh, actually... Yeah, I was 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 16. Why is this important? Because you were playing mind games, quote-unquote, with minors. Now, the reason that's an issue is because I'm sure you're well aware of how stressful everyone was during that situation. Myself included. It's almost like I'm the server owner. And have had a history of people backstabbing me in the past. I wanted to know who was given information, but you wouldn't fess up. Instead, you just kept changing your status to reflect what was going on and accused me of stalking because I looked at your Twitter once. Looking at someone's Twitter one time just to see if they said anything is not stalking. I kicked you out of those chats because I could not tolerate you and Jelko anymore. I kicked you out of Pog 
and the olive tree for the simple reason of I just couldn't be around you anymore and I wanted space. I wanted nothing to do with you guys. But then I know you've all I know you've already explained your reasoning, but you've you, you just thought it was a good idea to just go out of your way to put more mental stress on me. All because Oh, I wanted to help myself. It took you about a month or two to just tell me the name. That's all I wanted you to do. But I remember the caveat you gave me. I remember that you would only tell me the name if I didn't tell others or punish the person. I find that second one to be very strange. Because I did punish that person. I did tell them that they were not allowed to view the Vencha anymore. Because I could not trust them. And Cosmic, let me just be completely transparent with you. I have seen you constantly blame what I and the others have done for the reason you can't talk about your boyfriend anymore or anything like that. Why do we live rent-free in your head? The reason why I said anything in regards to that was because during that time, our relationship, Joko and I, was utilized in a way against us as a reason as to why I acted the way I did. According to what, I don't remember who, um, around that time, if I recall correctly. Let me be transparent with you again. The reason why people, I wouldn't say people were using the relationship itself against you. It was more so a case of, hey, you and Jelko are just, you two are like Siamese twins. You're always together. And every time anything happens that you two find an argument in, you just jump on it. Because I remember the crazy amount of times you two dunked on Blaze the Movie Fan. Which, yes, we're talking about the same Blaze the Movie Fan to anyone who recognizes that name. Not important. Point is, you and Jelko were just always in the same argument if you two were in the same server you two double teamed on people for no reason because like why were you two so fucking vicious to blaze could you point to me where i was vicious to blaze because i remember in blaze's sec chat you and joko always got into him because blaze like let, let, let me be honest, like, Blaze is a nice dude, he's not always smart, and he does say stupid shit, but like, do you really think it's a good idea to dogpile him because he had intrusive thoughts about his content? What? What? Sorry, what? What? Context, please? I, I, I will fully admit, it's been a while, but... I do remember there were several instances where Blaze, the movie fan, was like, Hey, I, I don't know if I want to do this in my videos anymore. Or, hey, I don't feel good about this video. Or the way I'm approaching my content. And Cosmic Ajoko just always jumped on him for that. Okay, that's not an intrusive thought. Oh, okay. My, my apologies. Here, I'll put it this way. You ever, like, been at the top of a, of a tall landing or stairs and just have a weird thought in your mind? Like, huh, maybe I should jump. Like, not that you want to die or anything, but just an impulsive thought like that. You're having yeah, event. yeah, yeah. That's an intrusive I get thought. you. That's an intrusive Okay, thought. thanks for clarifying. My apologies. Uh, I, I guess the point I'm trying to get across to you is that the reason why people viewed your and Joko's relationship so negatively is that you two just double teamed on people all the time. And that's ultimately why I decided to kick you two from the two chats, because... I could not put up with you dogpiling on us three, uh, me, Hypo, and Stardust, just to refresh your memory uh, did you, anymore. Did you, did you really dogpile on literal children? 
Yes, she did. No, no, I, I want her to answer. I want her to answer. When I direct something to her, I want her to answer. Did you dog die gotcha. on children? <coughs> in hindsight, and in an explanation, not not to me, no. In, and I'm not lying about that before that even comes to mind. No, sir. Um, for the most part, it was mostly me de disagreeing. I hate saying most of part, but I said it anyways. Anyways. I usually disagreed um, with uh, a few opinions, either by Blaze or by some of the actions in regal in relations to Umbris, uh, Hyperchromia, and Stardust. Um, what happened in that uh, in that Pog server? Um, I tried to say that like it would be better to have it in the to explain in a separate group chat among the members. Um, between like what was it light stardust chocolate and myself while the other while hyperchromia and umbris were saying that we were just going to dogpile and we're just going to dogpile and stuff like, and i continuously had to repeat that out that there was no there was no dogpiling and if we needed to get someone in there that would have been that would have been fine as well to you, want know, um, everything. you want to know what my thought process is or, or was at the time I'll, I'll get to I'll get to that last statement in just a moment. All of us involved in that common thread, the, everyone involved in that situation except for Lynn, because I believe she left at the time, were in Pog. There were six people involved, and I wanted you guys to talk it out. And about that mediator thing. I run Pog. That is my server. I could have been the mediator. Now, I am not going to say I was a saint in that situation because I was a dumb 16-year-old. But I did the best I could because I cared about my group and didn't want it to blow up in a way I didn't want it to. Like, I wanted a situation like this to be figured out as soon as possible. But you and Chilko just did not fess up. Also, I'm going to go ahead and say I don't believe you. When you said that you didn't uh, dogpile because you already admitted that like you'll strike terror in a literal child and that like you'll mess with kids to terrify them. So why in the world wouldn't you dogpile them? I am I am not a fan of dogpiling personally. Um I mean I'm not a I, fan, I'm not a fan of Dragon Ball Z, but I have some Goku action figures. That doesn't mean dick. Wait, small question. So you're not a fan mm -hmm. of dogpiling, but you're okay with striking terror into children? <coughs> Looking back at it, no. Um, no whatsoever. I was rational, rash, and it's one of those all, albeit stupid. It's one of those situations. Wait. I can tolerate racism, but I draw the line at animal cruelty. No, but hold on. Looking back on it, no. Then why'd you fucking do it? And more importantly, why did you persist for months? Because, uh, here, let, let me just tell you a little anecdote. Because you just kept going on and on and on about me, running your mouth about me and my friend group, I remember I was paying attention to a math class. I, I think we were learning about, like, fucking geometry or some bullshit like that. And I zoned out. Why? Because I was fucking scared of you. Because... The thing that got me the most is I had no idea what you're going to do next, if you were going to do anything next. Because I was just that terrified of you. I can't imagine being a kid in the modern day of the internet, where, like, communication is so unquestionably direct. Because back when I was that age, when I was freaking 14 and whatnot, like, the internet existed... But it existed solely on computers, like desktop computers, and if you're freaking rich, a laptop. And the quickest form of communication was freaking AOL Instant Messenger. I can't imagine, like, an adult harassing me when I was a child in such a direct way to where even if I'm at school, they can mess with me. It's just wild, the things that kids have to deal with nowadays, because adults can't handle themselves. They can't deal with the fact that, oh no, a child might say something mean about me. Maybe this friend group that primarily consists of children may not like me anymore. Are you just that maladjusted? Do you not have any proper adult friends? 
I do, sir. I do have adult friends. Then why the obsession okay. with the kids, then? Why the obsession with, with what the kids are saying about you? Because, newsflash, there's a whole bunch of kids that really, really don't like me. You know what I do? I ignore their existence because they are literally children. And more importantly, why do you live in this echo chamber? Because you remember when Karome was called out for his nonsense. I remember. I do remember. Okay. If you remember so much, what was Karome called out for? Karome um, had, it's had some sort of um, spat with um, Space Guru. Don't remember entirely what it was about, but he said something really bad to Space Guru and like hella like inconsiderate whatsoever. Well, that was what got him kicked for Pog. But that is mm -hmm. not what happened. What happened was, I was looking back at Skype DMs. And I discovered some very alarming messages between me and Karome. And you know what? I... Hang on. I, I know it's in Space Guru's video, but... The, 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 to cut to the quick uh, and not waste anyone's time, Karome was asking me in explicit detail, Oh, if you're bi, then what... You, who, who do you want to fuck? And what Danganronpa characters do you want to, like, fuck you or something like that? Yeah, I was 11 at the time. Excuse me? Uh-huh. And you say this person part of Carmen Rider's crew? I'm pretty sure. Why would I not I don't know if they were specifically in the group. But I do know that Karome was an avid defender of Carmen. Gee, I wonder why somebody who speaks sexually to children would be a defender of Carmen. <coughs> My mind is blown. Surely, surely, surely this is not a correlation. Anyways. Now, the reason I bring this up is because I remember your group that Karome was also in was defending Karome. I remember what Pretty Kitty said. Karome, uh, uh, Karome just did a little baka uwu moment. Like... Are you serious? Are you really going to tolerate that? Cosmic, is that accurate? I... <clears throat> a yes or no is what I need. I do not need an essay answer. Yes. Okay, here's what you're going to do right now. You're going to leave my personal server because there's kids there and you're not to be around them. Will do. Let me do that right now. Imagine, chat. Somebody saying that thing to an 11-year-old child and just being okay with it. Just saying, oh, it's just an oopsie poopsie. It's a little oo -woo. Uh, I, I, I did a I did a bad thing. Uh, pose for the camera. Actually, Lyo, Asuka just mentioned something that I think should be pointed out. Cosmic is still in Harley's server, and there's miners in there. Well, if somebody actually, funny you mentioned that because I do remember. Uh, now, if I am wrong about this, uh, then like I'll, I'll I'll take the L on that. But I do distinctly remember, like I was in that chat for a bit, and I do remember seeing. Actually, no, I, I do remember this vividly now. Uh, so I remember. The situation between me and you was being talked about in Harley's server. You want to know what you did, Cosmic? You remind me. Nothing. You did not open your big mouth. Something I was surprised about because you're really good about running your mouth about me. Especially in places where I can see it. Make sure you leave Harley's server as well. I am leaving him his servers. I am. Their server. Their server. Sorry. <clears throat> what is wrong with you people? Like, seriously. You told me that your parents raised you. You told me that they gave you some sort of value. So, what value did they teach you that made this type of talk acceptable to you? I did not find out about this until later on. No, 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 we no, were no, only... no, 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 no. I did not say when you find it. I did not say 
what time you found out. I asked why you find this acceptable, because you kept this person I around and you defended them as this was just some silly little oopsie mistake. That's the core of the question I am asking you. Do not answer questions I did not ask. Answer the questions I asked. I do not find it acceptable, sir. You did, though. You literally did. Did you keep them around after they did this? Yes. Did you chalk How it long? Up? Did you chalk it up to just a simple mistake? No. How long did you keep them around to answer Umbrus's question? I don't have an exact time frame, but I've it, it was months. 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 Are you kidding me? I'll let Lyo pop off in just a second. But are you kidding me? Okay, let me let me make this clear. Eleven. How young is that? Eleven? Uh, how many years ago was I eleven? Like seven. Eleven years old is a very is impressionable the right word? Yeah, that would be a good word to use. Yeah. When you're eleven years old, you're like about to become a teenager in like a couple years from then. So like anything that happens between like you starting to become a teenager to like when you are can like heavily influence how you act and speaking as someone who is like <sighs> speaking as someone who is around a lot of bad influences during that age I, I i'm going to fully admit i did say a lot of like things that i take back i was around a lot of edgelords you were in commentary of course you were around edgelords <laughs> But, but the point I'm trying to make is, you kept someone who said some filthy stuff to an 11-year-old around you for months. But, but, but she said that she didn't find it acceptable. That's why he was there for months, obviously. What made you guys finally decide to boot him? Because clearly, it wasn't talking sexual to an 11-year-old. So what made you guys decide to boot him? I don't remember exactly what was the reason um i just know there was a lot of a lot of issues going on a lot of drama i'd be willing to um, that it's something really minor and stupid that isn't anywhere near on the level of saying something sexual to a child likely so in other words he probably hurt one of you guys's goofy stupid little feelings or had a bad take about pokemon or maybe um maybe said something transphobic which is a little more egregious than a bad opinion about pokemon but still lower on the scale than talking sexual to a child apologies for that so yeah <clears throat> what is wrong with you people again you tell me that your parents raised you right and here i see literally the exact opposite so one of two things is true either you have intentionally ignored how your parents have raised you or you're lying May I, uh... Yes, you may. May I ask something? Cosmic. Hey, Cosmic. Yes, so, Doodle? <clears throat> so, earlier you had said that you don't support dogpiling, yeah? Yes. And how you didn't see what you did back then was dogpiling. Right. So, guess who still has all of those DMs between you and Lynn and one hypochromia. I'm assuming that's you. Who has that lungs? That would be me. That would mm -hmm. be me, yes. How are you going to sit there and act like you weren't dogpiling these children when one, you had your boyfriend Right, Jolko? Mm -hmm. Go into this this script that you guys were making on on Joshua. Um, to basically yell at everyone who even remotely had anything negative to say about it, including myself, weirdly enough. I don't think I even really said anything much about it. Um but also go into Hypo's uh DMs to LARP as a fucking Danganronpa protag. Oh my goodness, is that true? <laughs> oh. Yes. Admittedly, that is true. That is fantastic. I love yeah, that. No. I love that. 
j just to quickly interject, yeah, no, you you were so pathetic, just conveying your expressions by copy and pasting Danganronpa fan characters. Which I don't know if that's more pathetic than using official characters. Well, it's, it's still I lower. Don't... It's still lower on the egregious of. I, I know, but, I just, but, I just... but like it's it just like how low do you think of you can... yourself? Go ahead. Susie. I'm just wondering. I I'm, I'm just wondering how you can do what you did to Hypo and in having Jolko and Lin also gang up on Hypo after all Hypo did was criticize a script that you guys wanted to get checked to begin with friendly reminder and then sit here in front of all of these people and say that you don't support dogpiling I really don't support <laughs> Don Filing. However, <clears throat> um, through my actions, I was brash, very hasty, very oh. irresponsible. Oh, you got one of those right. You're irresponsible. Let me be very clear. Here. Yes, I am. There's a difference between brash and hasty. A brash person may act on impulse in certain situations, but brash should be shade for like a kid who decides to try to do the like specific skateboard trick without properly knowing things and face planting that's brash what you did wasn't brash it was calculated let's not play games <laughs> and even now you make excuses what is it with you people like just in general because i've noticed there's something like off about literally everybody that i've ever had to pull and call in your like age range there's something like wrong with all of you you're all terminally online you all treat children like absolute garbage you all look the other way when somebody's being sexual with a child and you always try to ooh woo baby your actions away oh i'm gonna be accountable that let me explain to you how this is uh this is actually not my fault for referee let me downplay my actions i was brash these these are here's here's what i'm gonna put in my anime bio they're brash. Sometimes they don't think things through. No, you weren't brash. That was calculated. You're irresponsible. That one's the one that's correct. Because you don't care. You just don't care. Do you have any real world friends? I do. How many? At least five. What's their age range generally? Age range it was between 19 to 22. How often do you see them? on a weekly basis. Maybe you ought to stick with them instead of getting in weird commentary circles online where you sit there and you, you treat children like garbage. Or when somebody has been said, found out that they spoke like horrifically to a child, you just go, up. Oh, well, they're baby. And also, Lyo, you can tell me if I, uh, if this is like not important whatsoever, but th this has just been really annoying me. Who is this boyfriend you currently have? Because you are so adamant on keeping that a secret, and knowing your past history, that is a red flag. Now, I'm not saying that your current boyfriend has skeletons in her closet, but why are you keeping them a secret? Don't give me the whole, because you and your friends uh, made me scared. No, by the end of this call, I want to see that name in your bio. Out of respect, he is not um, very fond of confrontation and drama and i personally want to keep him out of anything that i may be involved with skill issue that is that that, that, that uh, let me tell you like this it, let me let me put it like this as a partner you're gonna have to tell your significant other what you're going through it doesn't matter if they don't like being a part of drama or anything like that i don't care because an important part of relationship ships is communication also we're getting a little long in the tooth here so we're gonna wrap this up in 15 june wanted to say perfect. something perfect <coughs> yeah I'll, I'll make it quick this is a quick question uh john um cosmic i don't know if you remember me i was the person that reached out to you on twitter during the situation mm -hmm. with um versus discord server and... i don't remember uh it had happened well after the fact and our call was pretty late because it kept getting pushed back and we had a pretty long call and i had asked you 
um, if you, in hindsight, you regretted anything that you did, and if there was anything you would have done differently. I asked both you and Jalco, and you both told me no. So I want to know how now you're you're saying it's like a, it was a hasty, heated, rash thing that you did when you were pretty confidently told me, confidently and calmly told me that you didn't regret a single thing you did. Whenever I did tell you um, during that time, I was primarily focused on the spats and everything we've had um, between the between the two groups. I normally suppress the anger I and respond calmly. And I'm impulsive, I'm irresponsible, but that's besides the point. Looking back at it now, I do regret, and to honest, like in all 100% honesty, I do regret my actions through the entire ordeal. And if I could have done anything differently, I really would have. It's amazing that you regret it now. It's amazing that you regret it and mention it now, that you're in a call with me. You've been in the server since February. You know how I roll. You know how I act. You know what I tolerate. You would remember that you've done all this stuff, and you're in my server? If I could chip in real quick, Lyle, uh, after they answer you. Go ahead, Cosmic. Answer him. I, I'll, I'll ask my little thing after. I, I know how I know how things go and I yeah I do know um I I've been reflecting on everything and regretting a lot and I just kind of I just keep it behind closed doors at this point I think you came in here to troll field no I did not okay okay I, I'm, I'm, I'm noticing a lot of on. sorry let me talk uh yeah I just have one little thing you've been reflecting you've been looking back on it and regretting right Mm hmm How long have you been reflecting, looking back on it, and thinking how stupid it was? Like, how long has it been since you've started that? Months. Bar parking. How come? Okay. Then how come you haven't had a single iota of common sense to go, Hmm, I fucked up. I did all this shitty, this shitty stuff. Why don't I go off and apologize to the people I've wronged? That I thought never crossed my mind. I've come to terms reflecting on everything and cutting contact all that needs to be said and that yeah. was it uh because you know what that sounds like to me you regret what? getting caught on your stupid behavior and you regret being seen in that light but you don't actually regret what you've done you don't regret the hurt you've caused that's how it reads to me and if other people disagree i i implore them to tell me that they disagree with me mind you but that's how it reads to me. Go ahead, Susie. So, at what point exactly did you start regretting it? I just, I just want to make sure I, uh, I, I get something clarified here. Point, point by point, it was around uh, October 2022 to November 2022 that I really started looking back at everything. So a month, <laughs> a month. Okay. Uh, I'll let Lyo speak in just a second, but I I, I just want to quickly say, I, I'm no, I'm noticing a lot of this. Oh, I was reflecting on my actions. Okay, what actions? And don't say, oh, I wasn't talking because you were. I, admit it right now. Wait, no. That makes that makes even less sense though, because that was after Coda got involved, right? You're right, actually. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. So, but you didn't have any problem with 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 Coda getting involved, did you? At the time, I did not. She said her piece. I am. I do. I do disagree with some of the things that she did say. And yet, there you were. I would have worded it completely differently. And yet, you didn't correct Coda. You didn't tell Coda that you were regretting your decision. You didn't do any of that. You just let Coda run out there and play White Knight for you. You disingenuous piece of garbage. I did correct Coda. It was just behind closed doors, sir. Hey, then guess what that means? Dick what all. What does that entail? It means dick all. Yeah, because Coda was making public statements about the situation. 
God, you're pathetic. Why would you not... Why would you not clarify that to the public? Because she knows Coda's a bad meat shield. That's why. Because she knew it'd be easy to let Coda take the heat. That's why. She knew it. These people like this, they always know that. They always do. And they never admit it. <laughs> this is so doggone pathetic and stupid. You are in your 20s. You terrorize children because they might not have another opinion about you. You dogpile them. You allow. You allow someone to say something sexual to an 11-year-old and you give them a pass for it. Holy crap, you're pathetic. You are a troll shielder. You knew I'd find out about this sooner or later, didn't you? I was expecting it. And yes, yet, I was. And yet you issue no apologies. You don't do anything to actually take care of things. You don't even so much as approach me. You are absolutely troll shielding. You thought if you stayed around here long enough, maybe you'd ingratiate yourself to where we wouldn't go hard on you. That's not how that works here. If you stay here long enough and we find out later, it's actually worse for you. I want to be very clear about that. It's not that you become our friend and we're going to be less harsh on you. No, I'm harder on my friends than I am strangers. You moron. And just really quickly, because I just remembered this. Uh, I'm not asking for the nitty gritty details, but this just crossed my mind. Uh, let me, let me quickly look it up, just to fact check. Right, so, you have a vent account, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, very convenient you made that in August 2021. I use it just to vent. Nothing in relation to you. Oh. You, have every, you have every right to not believe me. You have every right. But also, be honest. This is a yes or no question. It takes a second to say either of those words. Did you say anything about our situation at all on no. that? Are you telling the truth? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. Okay. Are uh, I'm going to uh, just, just one more time, just to make sure I know you're not lying. Did you say anything? anything about our situation you didn't even have to mention me by name it could have been a vague post okay that point yes i was lying and i will admit it right now okay why couldn't you give me a straight answer in the first place okay i <laughs> vented and said a lot of hor horrible things on that vent on that vent account because <laughs> i'm per i was personally angry and just release whatever feelings I had harboring in there. And that's it. All right, what well, horrible things. Again, not nitty gritty details, but like a reminder, like I was a minor at the time. So like, you better watch your fucking mouth. Just vent details as in um, how much I didn't really like you or being backstabbed, tr like trust being broken, all that, all that mess. That's really it. Or the same that you posted on your public. Yes. God, you're pathetic. You are. This is, <laughs> this is both hilarious and pathetic. In your 20s, and you pull this stunt, you don't think you're going to get caught. Well, I expected to have this call sooner or later, man. If somebody... <laughs> if you expect that you're going to have a flat tire and you don't carry a spare, you're a moron. You've been in this server for six months and you expected to finally have a call with me and you're completely unprepared. You lie through your teeth. You're so stupid. You people are pathetic. I, 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 so, to all you other people who might be in this call who probably have some sort of skeletons, um, here's your one chance to leave before I find out. I, I think, I, I, I just want to say this. I don't know if I was scared of you. You're like one of the most pathetic people I've ever met in my life. God, I, no wonder why I have such trust issues with fucking Mekon Kinnies. I don't know what that is, but all right then. She will understand. Uh, she will understand. Oh no, hold on. Lyle, the best explanation I can give you is severely mentally ill character within the game who hypersexualizes herself. Gross. Anyways. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>
here's what's going to happen on our end. Usually I'd take a vote on something like this. If it was if it was just you being stupid once with a kid, you know, we'd probably just have a vote on it. I'd watch you. I'd tell you to knock it off. I'd tell you to issue a proper apology. But that's that's not what happened here. And it's it's just baffling to me that every time I have to deal with a goon, they have to do something egregious to a kid or whatever. So here's Wait. what you're... I, yes... Hold on, because Light, uh, who is Fracture Light, said, hold up, I have a question, Lyo. Uh, he is very much involved. All right, but we got to wrap this up. I gave, very, I gave it 15 well. minutes, and we're about at that point. I know, I know, but this person has a question, That's and they're fine. involved. That's fine, they can talk. Do you want me to unmute them? I already did. Yeah. Right. I, I mainly just have a question. So, does shit talking go against your values as well? Just, just as a very quick question. That was directed to you, Cosmic. I recommend you answer. I'm low on time and lower on patience. I did not hear the question. Could Does crap talking go against your values? Does crap talking goes goes against my values? So yes yes or, or no. It's a yes or no question. Yes. So then, why did you spend so much time in your Discord groups, in your... You know, actually, no, I'm just going to be that generous on you. Because you said that, like, you said that dogpiling goes against your values. You said that the Nazi stuff goes against your... Oh, sorry, probably not that. But, like, the sexual stuff with children goes against your values. Do you actually follow your own values? Or do you only do so when it's convenient for you? I do follow my values. I was just irresponsible and stupid. And blinded by feeling. Here, let's use, That's it. Let's use the right word. You're malicious. You're malicious. You're not. You're not any of the. I told you. You're not any of these oo woo words. You're not any of these things you would put into like your RPG character's backstory. You're just a malicious <coughs> weirdo who's okay with kids being put in danger and harassing children. That's what you are. You don't get to anime it up. No. So here's what's going to happen. Because I have to go. Here's what's going to happen. You see that you and I share two servers. This one and the Joshu planning server. Leave! And Lumi, shut the door behind them here. And also, I have one request. Alright. Cosmic? This yes. Is, extend this to the rest of whoever's in your friend group. If that precious little boyfriend that you're not going to tell us about. Keep my name out of your fucking mouth. Will do. And this ex uh, keep my friend group out of your mouth as well. I don't want to see you go. Oh, I can't talk about my boyfriend because of Umbrus' friend group. Keep my name out of your mouth and do not even think about using that as a method to be vague on Twitter or anything like that. Don't talk about me ever again. Do you understand? Understood. You know I don't I think. And you know I, I can't speak for Lyo, but I don't think he's going to be nice next time he catches you. No, because if I do find out, it's going to be worse. Mm. Anyhow, as I was going to say, uh, sir, yes, sir. Uh, bye, bitch. <laughs> All right, we're done here. Everybody can bail. Yep. Thank you very right. much. Uh, I right, was get not, the fuck out. I was not expecting myself to do as well as I did. <laughs> also, if, if you guys... Uh, Lyo or Lumi or whatever, if you guys want to see the DMs that, I, that I'm talking about where, where Cosmic goes full on dogging around by antagonist, I can send you those. Oh, just put them uh, in just just, oh, just, guys. Put, just put them in gallery. Go ahead, Lumi. Guys. Yes. Gallery. Consider. I'm going to be in the Mali server playing Letter League, so if you want to read those out, I'll be down to you. I gotta go. <laughs> There seems to be an issue with people in commentary spaces using, harassing, stalking, and terrorizing children. Hopefully me being in these spaces will have that decreased over time. Hey, it's Cosmic doesn't need to be around any spaces with vulnerable people. I can only hope that Lin Lin and Umbris got some closure out of this. Feel free to show them some love and support in the comments. Next upload is hopefully this Friday, and it will be a call with Ghost. Fun. If you like my content, feel free to support me on Patreon or become a channel member. You're also welcome to join the Discord servers. Link for all of that is in the description below. That's it for now. Take care.